Hi friends, I am Shabir Ali. I would like to upload some videos in English, especially from the topic Income Tax, Goods and Service Tax, Companies Act and Cost and Management Accountancy. For those who are studying Charter Accountancy, Cost Accountancy and Company Secretary from various parts of India, I would like to help them in their examinations, coming examination especially in this November and December. November for CA students and December for CMA students. Then this channel previously meant to Kerala students, then the contents are in Malayalam. But uh, I got various responses from across India. So I would like to uh, share the contents in English. Now onwards you will get uh, academic related updates and uh, academic related topics in English. To not subscribe to this channel before, please press the subscription button and press the bell icon. You will get instant updates. My uploading time will be every day 5 p.m. in the evening. So I would like to start but uh, one thing remind, one thing remember. I am just updating the what are the amendments up to the heads of income. I, I would like to share in today's video what are the amendments applicable up to the heads of income that means from the introduction part to heads of income. Balance part will be uploaded in the next video. So stay tuned. Shall we start? First amendment is related to surcharge. From the basic part surcharge there is a change in surcharge rate only for individuals HEF, AOP, Association of Persons, BOI, Body of Individuals and Artificial Judicial, person, judicial Persons. So their surcharge increased to 37 percentage maximum limit of surcharge is 37 percentage. The surcharge rate will be shown like this up to 50 lakh there is no surcharge income exceeding 50 lakh to 1 CR the surcharge rate is 10 percentage income exceeding 1 crore to 2 crore the surcharge rate will be 15 percentage above 2 crore the surcharge rate will be 25 percentage then 5 crore above the surcharge rate will be 37 percentage but surcharge rate of the following income maximum surcharge rate of the following income that means income exceeding 2 crore well, uh, the reason for increase is long term capital gain under section 112A and short term capital gain under section 111A. Income exceeding 2 crore but surcharge rate, surcharge rate will be restricted to 15 percentage that means uh, especially long term capital gain under section 112A and short term capital gain under section 111A maximum surcharge rate is 15 percentage 15 percentage so this is the major change in surcharge then another one is rate of mat the minimum alternative tax is 15 percentage instead of 18.5 percentage for the assessment year 2019-20 surcharge rate uh, minimum alternative tax rate is 15 percentage not 18.5 then 15 percentage plus surcharge and education and uh, other things will be applicable then next change in uh, there is section 9 section 9 covered what are the provisions to be treated as deemed in the income out of that list one more item is added item is this if any if any resident paid any gift under section 56 to a non resident to a non resident should be treated as deemed Indian income that means the payee shall be liable to pay tax on such receipt as per the provisions of income tax so it should be treated as deemed Indian income that is a one change again one more change in section 10 there is it is related to exemption withdrawal from NPS withdrawal from NPS previously uh, 40 percentage of such a withdrawal is exempt in this previous year 1920 such a withdrawal up to 60 percentage is exempted from tax up to 60 percentage is exempted from tax then under the head salary your main head one of the major head is salary there is a one change there is one change under section 16 clause 1 standard deduction is ex extended to 50,000 Previously, it is only 40,000. Now onwards, you will get 50,000 as standard deduction. 
there is no other change in income from salary then your next head is income from house property there is two change there is two change one in previously you can opt or you can select one of your residential house is self occupied and their annual value become nil now onwards or 90 with effect from 1920 previous year you can select two residential house at the option of assessee as self occupied two residential property will be treated as self occupied and uh, annual value of that such a both the house will be nil but interest on borrowings for construction or acquisition or any other kind of activities the maximum uh, deduction will be under section 24 clause b is will become 2 lakhs that means maximum uh, interest on borrowings can be shown while calculating house property income is 2 lakh second one is uh, we can uh, construct building for uh, held as stock in trade and uh, not let out but in the previous uh, previously you can hold uh, without letting that particular property up to one year from the end of the previous year in which completion certificate was obtained but with effect from 1920 you can hold property held has stock in trade for two years from the end of the previous year in which construction completion certificate completion certificate was obtained this is the change in pgpp there is uh, four changes three changes are very important first one is related to rate of depreciation normally motor vehicles there is a change in depreciation in motor vehicles normally if uh, you, you purchase a motor car you can go you will get depreciation 15 percentage on return on value but if you purchase a motor car in between 23rd august 2019 to 31st march 2020 and put it to use during the year you will get depreciation not at 15 percentage you will get 30 percentage depreciation on such vehicles then you are running business on hire like a, a taxi and a hiring a renting business or buses and lorries normal depreciation rate is 30 percentage but if you purchase in in between that above mentioned period that means 23rd august 2019 to 31st march 2020 you will get depreciation for 45 percentage this two date should be remembered because uh, there is a chance for asking in your multi multiple choice questions in this exams okay that is the one change then out of section 43b that means if you have any expenditure listed in 43b outstanding at the date of 31st march for the year ending you can uh, you can deductible only if you make payment before the due date of filing of return one item is added in the previously there is interest on borrowings to bank is there but now add interest on borrowings to nbfc also the item added interest on borrowings to nbfc non-banking financial corporation is also included to that list that means any outstanding interest payable to nbfc at the end of the 31st march during the year then you can deduct that particular expenditure only by way of making payment on or before due date of filing of return it is very important section you must be kept in mind then next head is capital gain only one change is there that is related to your exemption previously you can sold one of your residential property and if you are willing to invest in a residential property you will get section 54 as an exemption maximum exemption give, will be up to capital gain you obtain but in from the assessment year 2021 you will get exemption for investing two houses two residential houses for an individual in his lifetime but maximum exemption amount will be restricted to 2 cr 2 crore then from assessment year 2021 
capital gain gain exemption under section 54 capital gain exemption under section 54 uh, uh, previously for one house but now onwards you will get two houses maximum exemption amount will be 2 crore in one's lifetime one's lifetime then there is no changes in income from other source some other changes are applicable for your examination uh, from the deduction part and assessment part return filing part i will upload in that next part uh, balance part will be on tomorrow stay tuned if you have any recommendations or comment based on my video just put into the comment box i would like to improve my uh, contents contents quality of contents based on your recommendations so just to give your opinion and what are the topics you required most just put into the comment box stay tuned thank you